Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been missing out in action for quite a long time now. So a bit of a life update that number one, there's a change of season going on in India and, and due to that my baby was keeping a little unwell. But now he's adjusting to summer and he's perfectly fine by the God's grace. And apart from that, I had taken up a course from Harvard University. That's an online course. If you're interested, you can also check it out on edX.org. There are a lot of uh, options to choose from and you can do it on your own pace. No, this is not a sponsored video, but I'm insisting on doing an online course because if you're free in quarantine, it will only help you upgrade your skills. So why not? And apart from that, my baby is about to turn six months old and it was his Annapurashan, which is also known as rice eating ceremony. Uh, this is a very popular ceremony in India, especially when a baby turns five or six months old, depending upon boy or a girl. We tend to introduce food to the baby and that is called rice eating ceremony. And the first grain of food that baby actually eats is rice. So um, it is known as rice eating ceremony. Uh, so I was busy sewing a pair of garments for him for the ceremony. And apart from that, I had started my routine workout all over again after one and a half years so at the end of the day i used to be so exhausted that i had no stamina to edit the videos however i definitely have uh, shot some videos so i'm gonna be editing and uploading it over the period of time in today's video i'm sharing my experiences from uh, my japan travel that was in late 2018 and I'm going to be sharing with you all the important things that you must do before you travel to Japan. So here are my five important things that you must do before you visit Japan. I hope you like this video. If you do, please do not forget to give it thumbs up and like and share my videos. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram for all my life updates. And if you have any questions, please do not forget to write in the comment section below and I will answer all your questions. So without a further ado, let's get started into the video. So my tip number one is to plan your travel if you're thinking of coming to Japan because it's a long nation and uh, it's not possible to cover each and every part of Japan in your 20 or 30 days time. So it's important to plan before you come. So my plan was uh, to come to Tokyo. From Tokyo, I go to Kyoto, Kyoto to Osaka, Osaka to uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima to Miyajima, Miyajima to Himeji, Himeji to Fuji and Tokyo, which completes my central and south they are the most important places to visit in central and south so planning is the most important thing because if you think that you will go to japan and plan it's not gonna work because here people are very very systematic and they definitely want you they expect you to get all your bookings and everything done prior to your arrival and that is what happens even when you're applying for a tourist visa you definitely must give them the whole itinerary that you're gonna follow during your stay in japan and that's kind of crazy because um, it doesn't happen everywhere in the world but here when you're coming to japan they want you to be very systematic as they are so planning is the most important part before you come to japan my second tip is to buy a jr pass when you have planned everything it's important to buy japan rail pass because most of the places that you're gonna go is from train it's from bullet train it's from normal jr trains they have a lot of lines here they're like kq line chuo line subway they have jr so jr is one of the most used lines and you must buy JR Pass prior to coming to Japan. When I say prior to coming to Japan, you really need to underline and highlight that because I mean that this pass is not available 
in Japan. You must buy this outside Japan and this is only for tourist purpose which lasts only for 21 days. So you come to Japan, you go around in Japan and if you have this pass you would just need to get your tickets reserved in bullet trains which are the most expensive trains here. Bullet trains will cost you somewhat around traveling from Tokyo to Osaka would only cost you 14 to 16,000 yen just for one side so it's, it's pretty expensive expensive so it's important to buy a JR pass now that's just one place you're traveling and you're gonna be traveling a lot of places so in XT 2000 yen if you're getting a JR pass a must to buy because you're gonna be using this a lot of times at a lot of places even during the local travel because they have local JR lines as well so even if you're you commuting locally it's gonna be helpful and it's going to be saving your expenses that's correct saving your expenses so my tip number two is buy a jr pass if you are coming to japan my tip number three is buying a subway car now as i said they have a lot of train lines here different companies are operating different sort of a line subway is second largest line in japan which you need a card and that is available all across japan you need not buy it before coming to japan because when you are coming to japan most of the places your jr pass will work and then you can just uh, go to any station and just inquire about this card which works in subway because subway and jr are the most used lines and definitely you will have to travel from subway you don't have an option especially when you are in osaka city when you are in tokyo it's important to buy a subway card which works in these cities so that's my tip number three my tip number four is to buy yes i'm asking you to buy a lot of things but this is mandatory when you're traveling to places like kyoto hiroshima there are city buses where you cannot use your subway pass or jr pass these are the places where you can buy bus travel card for one or two days which is which comes very cheap like traveling in bus for, from one place to another like for one so my fifth and the last tip is reservations which are the most important part of your travel well when i say reservations as i told you earlier uh, that people in japan are very very particular about things and they expect you uh, to do what you say so you want to make your reservations prior to coming here because otherwise it's going to be very difficult usually places like Kyoto, Osaka, Tokyo, Hiroshima these are the most important tourist destinations of Japan and the hotels here are mostly full and that's why I would suggest you to make your bookings prior to coming down to Japan when I talk about reservations I also want to tell you that if you are planning your shinkansen travel it's better when you arrive in japan and just walk to the shinkansen counter and uh, just ask them to reserve and especially with your jr pass it will not be a hassle to go to the shinkansen ticket office and reserve your seat in shinkansen shinkansen by the way is a bullet train and uh, you definitely want to reserve a seat uh, otherwise you will have to travel in the non-reserved cars uh, and the non-reserved cars may be full and you will have to go standing all the way which is not an ideal thing to do in shinkansen which is running at 300 km per hour and if you're planning to go by bus or want to take a ferry then the reservations should be uh, done at least day or two prior to your travel because that would really ease out your across japan so guys those were my five tips on coming to japan and if you liked my video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down there if you have any questions please write into the comment box and i will answer them all Thanks for watching guys. Love you all. Bye.